Today, we can sit at home or office and chat over a telephone, watch a television program or work on a computer and use internet to serve the world. Have you wondered about the science and technology behind this amazing world of communications? Let us visit this IEEE exhibit and learn about some basics and recent developments in telecommunications. When you speak, your voice can be heard over a few meters distance. What is happening here is that when you speak, the speed signals you generate can be heard over a limited distance only because these signals are quickly attenuated. So, when you speak to a larger gathering or you want to be heard over a longer distance, you will use a microphone and a loudspeaker. In this setup, the speed signals are converted into electrical signals by the microphone, then amplified and carried over the distance using copper or aluminium wires, and then finally converted back into speech waves by the loudspeaker. A similar principle is used in basic line communications over a long distance, such as in a telephone. In radio communications, the electrical signals are converted into electromagnetic waves by using a device called antenna. When radio transmission and reception are used for distance communication. Around 40 years ago, people started experimenting with the use of thin glass fibers to replace copper wires to communicate over a distance. Today, this technology which is called fiber optics is a mature technology. It is widely used in telecommunications. Specially designed glass fiber, which is about as thin as a human hair, is packaged to form a rugged cable. Typically, a 8 micrometer core glass fiber is given a cladding of about 125 micrometer diameter, which in turn is surrounded by a 250 micrometer diameter buffer and finally enclosed in a jacket of about 400 micrometer diameter to get the cable. That is just about half millimeter diameter. Indeed, you can bundle several such fiber assemblies into a single cable. This fiber optic cable is quite flexible and capable of carrying very large information when compared to a simple copper or aluminium wire. Look at the picture showing the frequency spectrum and its use. An optical fiber uses a carrier frequency in the optical frequency range, which is very much higher than the frequencies used for carrying signals by metal wires or radio communication. This feature gives an extremely large bandwidth or simply width of frequency spectrum which can be used. A single optical fiber is capable of carrying millions of telephone conversations simultaneously or large amount of data or video information. Generally, the voice frequency signals occupy the frequency spectrum between 300 Hz to 3.4 kHz. A telephone quality voice signal occupies about 5 kHz bandwidth. High fidelity music requires about 20 kHz. Television picture transmission takes about 4 MHz or 4 million Hz bandwidth. High speed data communication such as the one used for transferring information from one computer to another requires even higher bandwidth. A simple wire used for telephone lines cannot generally provide the bandwidth required for high-speed data communications or television signals because the carrier frequencies used are in the kilohertz range only. In a fiber optic communication link such as the one you see in this IEEE exhibit, all the information inputs such as data coming from a computer, voice signals from telephones, and a video signal coming from a camera are all multiplexed or mapped 
in an orderly format in a device called multiplexer. Then an electrical to optical converter is used to upconvert this information package onto an optical frequency carrier. The optical frequency is around 200 terahertz or 200 million million hertz and the signal carrier travels along the optical fiber. At the receiving end, optical to electrical signal frequency down conversion is done and a demultiplexer is used to separate the received signal and deliver data, video and voice outputs to different communication channels. Fiber optic communications are crucial for high speed digital or data communication which requires a very large bandwidth. Optical fibers facilitate data transfer rates of more than 100 gigabits per second. 50 years ago, cell phones did not exist. Fiber optic communications did not exist. High speed internet did not exist. All these developments in communication technology are less than 50 years old. Look at the future telecommunications in the next half century. What next?